Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. I already know camera lenses can produce defects at certain f-stops, focal lengths, and focus distances. When this happens, lens distortions appear on photos. There are several common types of lens distortions with which you should be familiar. Vignetting causes the corners and edges of a photo to be darker than the center of a photo. Barrel distortion causes straight lines to appear unnaturally bowed outward. Pincushion distortion is similar to barrel distortion, but it causes straight lines to appear unnaturally bent inward. Chromatic aberration causes the appearance of color fringes along the edges of objects. Using Lightroom Classic CC, you can automatically correct these types of distortions. To correct apparent lens distortions like the ones just mentioned, expand the Lens Corrections panel in the Develop module. If necessary, click the word Profile at the top of the panel to display the profile options. The profiles in the Lens Corrections panel are based on EXIF metadata, which contains information about the camera and lens that captured each photo. Each profile compensates for the specific distortions related to common lenses. The profiles that are available in the panel will vary depending on whether you're adjusting a RAW file or a non-RAW file. To automatically correct chromatic aberration, check the Remove Chromatic Aberration option in the Lens Correction panel. When selected, this feature automatically corrects lateral chromatic aberration visible as blue-yellow and red-green fringes along the edges of objects in some photos. To automatically correct vignetting, barrel distortion, and pincushion distortion, check the Enable Profile Corrections option in the Lens Corrections panel. If you want to change the profile, use the Make, Model, or Profile drop-down menu options. Note that some cameras have only one lens and some lenses have only one profile. If necessary, you can customize the correction prescribed by the profile. To do this, adjust the amount sliders shown at the bottom of the panel. When using the distortion and vignetting sliders, note that the default values for each are set at 100. This means that 100% distortion correction or 100% vignetting correction are applied according to the profile. You can apply greater amounts of correction than the profile prescribes by moving either slider towards 100. Similarly, you can apply less correction than the profile prescribes by moving the sliders below 100. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.